Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Okay, well, we got a first today for the channel. Seriously, I really wasn't sure if I was going to do this review, but I figured why not? Alright, we're going to take a look at some beard oil. As some of you may have noticed, I've got a beard. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I trimmed this up a bit over the weekend, simply because it was getting a little bit out of control. And I figured why not, it's hair, it grows back, right? But stay tuned after we roll that intro, and we're going to take a look at this beard oil. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. As you saw, we're going to take a look at a company that is called Whiskey, Ink, and Lace. And the beard oil we're going to take a look at today is called their Connoisseur. Now, I stumbled across this company, seriously, I hate to say it this way, one drunken Amazon surfing night. I went looking for beard oil, and I found this. And I thought to myself, whiskey, ink, and lace. Three things guys really like. A lot of dudes like whiskey. I don't have any ink yet. I'm going to get some hopefully here very soon. I know lots of guys, you know, have ink as a sign of manhood, and who the hell doesn't like their better half in lace? Let's be serious. All right. And I was like, so, the connoisseur. And I noticed it had little coffee beans on there. So I was like, eh, okay, whatever. I had a different beard oil that was, you know, mocha flavored, and I'm like, well, let's bring it and see what happens. Guys, I got to tell you, right off the bat, when I opened it, and I usually do this when I get brand new beard oil. What's it smell like? God, it's like seriously a rich, deep coffee. And you can seriously smell the chocolate um, aftertones. I think that's the right way to say it, but I'm not sure. The other thing I loved, there's your dropper. It's in the style that I really like because it just sucks up the oil. Whereas other companies, and I might bring one of theirs to the channel, their eyedropper just sucks. And you need to keep you know, extracting and extracting and extracting. And there's times where I've even done this with oil into my hand to make sure I get it out. Now, I love where it says right here on the back, something a little different. For he who enjoys the finer things in life, like a well-brewed cup of coffee or a fine wine paired with good chocolate. Well, I love coffee. I love wine. And... <laughs> I'm a fat boy, so you know I like chocolate, you know, so why not? And it's like, this beard oil smells like a cup of deliciously rich cocoa. I wouldn't say cocoa. Honestly, I wouldn't, because, well, I live in the Pacific Northwest, and, you know, coffee's everything around here. It definitely, you can smell the coffee. And, you know, it's not overpowering in your beard, which I think is great. And no offense, guys, I'm not even going to really read those ingredients like some people love to. So there you go. All right. All right. Now, I love when, like with everything we do on this channel, I'll do my homework. All right. And they say, scent, coffee, and rich cocoa. And they go, scent, strength, strong. Well, yeah, it's coffee, you know. You just, you sniff it and you know it's coffee. All right. And I love the fact that they say um, some of the key benefits, well, it's high in vitamin C, okay, great for your skin, great for your hair, wonderful. It says caffeine-free, which made me giggle going, okay, coffee, caffeine-free, so, all right. And it goes, but it's rich in antioxidants and softens your skin. All right. I get that because, honestly, with beard oils and a lot of people mess it up, yeah, it says beard oil, but it's not primarily for your beard. It's for your skin that's underneath the beard. Because when your beard grows long, as you can see like right here, now imagine that, that was all the way around the sides. Your body can only produce so much oil to give you that healthy, luxurious, you know, hair. And it needs help. Well, that's where beard oil you know, kind of jumps right in there. Now, the other thing I love with beard oils, especially this one I've noticed, all right, when your beard starts growing out long and you guys who don't put product in there, you know, sometimes you're scratching and you have that wonderful beard druff where the dead drying skin is flaking off. Well, beard oil, especially like this one, it helps kill that and it helps give you that healthy skin and it helps promote the growth, you know, right underneath. 
Now, I love the fact they say their company is 100% all natural, you know, stuff going in here. No chemicals and fragrance free oils. I've had other beard oils that just, they're not good. They're, they're just not, you know? And I've tried them and you're like, ugh. I had one that I thought was great for a long time, but I never even realized because that the only that's the only one I was using. My hair was very dry and very just dead the very next morning. It felt like you took a whole bunch of, sp you know, hairspray and kind of logged it in there. That's how that beard oil felt. Now, I did a little bit of research into the company like I usually do. First things first, I think it's beautiful. Their CEO, CFO, you know, all those other wonderful things, the boss is a female. I mean, seriously, we don't wear beard oil as guys for ourselves. We wear it for them. So if you want to impress your better half, who better to help design a great beard oil than the fairer sex? And that's not a slam on anybody. I'm not some misogynistic pig. If I'm going to wear something, I want who I want to sleep with to be, that's great, that's wonderful, there we go. So having something designed by a woman, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, from my understanding, they have basically two base of operations. One out of Nashville, which I freaking love. And the other's out of Seattle, which, well, it makes sense. Why we have a coffee-flavored beard oil out of Seattle, you know, home to Starbucks. Makes sense to me, right? Now, before we get into something else here in just a moment, as we always do, guys, we take a look and we compare prices and we take a look and compare ratings, okay? Because I know a company can go, this is the latest, greatest, you gotta have it, it's gonna get you laid, it's gonna make, you know, your little tallywhacker grow eight feet long, it's gonna produce muscles on muscles, but that's all their marketing. I wanna hear what everybody else is saying and their experiences. So on whiskeyinkandlace.com, it's going to run you $19.75 for about a one fluid ounce bottle. Now, for one ounce bottle, it's a little high, but that's okay. It's not outside the realm of I can drop money on it and, you know, have regrets. It's right in that area where I feel comfortable spending money on something for myself. Over on Amazon, it's $21.99, and you're going to get free shipping. Now, the ratings over on Whiskey, Ink, and Lace, and this one has a problem for me. And it's just like on other reviews I've done on Gerber Blades. They say they're five out of five star reviews on their website with 40 reviews. But I've seen some fours, threes, and twos on this one. So you can't be five out of five if you have a two star review. It's physically impossible. Now over on Amazon, it's five out of five and it's got five reviews and they're all five stars. Now, for those of you who really don't know and have never really used beard oil before, it's very simple, guys. Seriously, it's pathetically simple. All right, I've got some other stuff in my beard right now, so I'm not really going to spread it in. You take your little dropper, you know, you basically depress the top, put it in, suck it up. You know, I just resealed it because I'm moving it. Take the dropper, empty it into your hand, you know, you mix it around, and you basically rub it all throughout your beard, especially working from the bottom, as I call it, this little dead zone and working it up, rubbing it into your skin and massaging it into your beard. Then you just take your beard comb and comb it out. You know, you basically, what I like doing is going from the top down, then turn around bottom to the top and then top down again. And if there's anything left in your hands, just run it through your hair or, you know, soap and water, rinse it off. It's that simple, guys. I've used this one before. It has a good staying power. Some other beard oils that I've used, I, mean, I should say the scent has a great staying power. Other ones that I've used, you may get an hour or two. I think over the weekend when I was using this, it was lasting between four and five hours on each application that I could smell the coffee still. And I purposely avoided drinking any Black Rifle coffee this weekend, which that's my choice. Just to make sure I wasn't, you know, anything spilled here, anything spilled there. I wanted to truly test the scent out. And it was going, with, like I said, between four and five hours. Normally in the morning after shower, I put it on because all your pores are open, you work it in. And later on at night, normally around five, I'll give it a second application just because I want to keep the hair as hydrated as possible, you know, and smell good and try to make the better half go, hmm, he's not too bad. I know. I need a lot of help there, but still, shut up, everybody. <laughs> but guys, that's my very quick look at, you know, the Whiskey Ink and Lace Beard Oil. It's one of the first ones I'm bringing to the channel. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. 
you know, if any of you use beard oil out there, what's your favorites? What's your experiences? Leave all your questions, comments, love, hatred down below, man, in the comment section. You guys know I love them. You guys know I'm going to get back to you on them. You know, if you're a first time viewer of this channel, man, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a strange one because it's my very first review on beard oil. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who have yet to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could take a look at that channel logo that's going to pop up in one of those two corners. Click on it, and it's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've done that, please destroy that bell icon. That's going to notify you every single time we upload a video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up either on that side of the screen or that side of the screen. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog of videos that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. Whiskey, Ink, and Lace, The Connoisseur. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great one.